Hi, I'm John from Careso Cameras, manager of Coquillum location, working from home like so many others during this time. And today on the We Show You How, uh, submitted by Caitlin, we have a question about photographing with black and white photography. Uh, more specifically, what filters you use while doing black and white photography. So if you're photographing film, you need the filters at time of exposure. If you're photographing digitally, you use uh, it in post-production. But Either way, these filtrations that we're going to be talking about is useful for uh, both film and digital. So right now on my lens, I've got just a clear UV filter like I do on all of my lenses. I, I don't have a lens that goes without. And if you're photographing a certain situation and you're getting similar tones of gray, uh, with your monochrome, you have to add a filter to it to make one color stand out over the other. So my usual go-to is I'm explaining, uh, you're photographing a red rose on its green stem and both the red rose and the green stem are very similar tones of gray in monochrome. So you have to add a filter uh, in one case you could add the red filter to make the red rose itself appear lighter and then it's actually going to darken the stem or if you want to do it the opposite way around and you actually want to have the the stem lighter and the rose itself darker use a green filter so whatever color you want to accent is the color that you're going to be using uh, for portraits because that's primarily a lot of what i do uh, yellow or orange are my go-to filters for photographing people. Uh, it really just lightens the skin, uh, can darken hair, that sort of thing. And it just kind of gives it this nice, nice kind of glow to the skin, uh, particularly the orange, that's my go-to. But we'll have some examples here uh, with my color checker chart to show you the various colors and then also um, what it does for each type of filtration that you can do. Alrighty, I hope this has helped with the We Show You How. Thank you, Caitlin, for submitting your question, and we'll see you again in the next episode.